It's the fifth day of Iran's extensive naval drills in and around the country's southern waters. The Navy has launched two long-range missiles. These are the latest images from the anti-ship cruise missile Radeir, which hit its target shortly after its launch from a shore-based battery. A Navy destroyer has also fired a long-range anti-ship cruise missile named Noor. Different types of projectiles and torpedoes have also been launched on the fourth, fourth day of the maneuvers, dubbed Velayat 91. The exercises will conclude tomorrow. During the drills, Iranian defense units fought back and countered an assault by mock enemy, intruding the country's territorial waters and shores. The Navy says several spy aircraft belonging to foreign forces in the region tried to infiltrate the maneuver zone, but were warned off by the Iranian forces. Let's go straight to Jask, where all the action is taking place there. Press TV's Arash Khaled Berry, our correspondent, is standing by there. Arash, you're on the field. Tell us more what's going on there, where you are. And, of course, what, what can we expect in the coming day? Yeah, sure. This is the fifth day of uh, Valayat 91 naval drills, and on this day, uh, two missiles were, test fi uh, were fired, were launched successfully. The first one was Ghadir, and then the second one was Noor. Both of them were long-range missiles. The Ghadir missile is a ground-to-sea missile, and uh, the Noor missile is a sea-to-sea -sea missile. Um, actually, the fifth day is a continuation of the fourth day, but with a lot more intensity more uh, missiles and uh, the more and the bo more missiles were fired and launched on this day and uh, the, both of these missiles destroyed their targets successfully um, what is going on tomorrow tomorrow is the last day of the drills and on this day the all the submarines and uh, all the uh, battleships that are going back to their naval bases, they will go ahead and hold exercises uh, on their way back. They will pass through different um, field, mean, mean, minefields and they would go ahead and uh, have different kinds of uh, exercises like, um, um, for example, uh, communicating with light and uh, like uh, with also with helicopters that are going back. Uh, there are uh, to, tomorrow there will be uh, three as I have heard there would be three kinds of exercises one between the uh, battleships themselves I, I mean a group of them would go ahead and uh, hold exercises and also one with uh, the submarines all the submarines will hold um, will have exercises themselves and one the both the battleships and the submarines together will hold uh, exercises. This is all on their way back to, the, to their naval, naval bases. Tomorrow is the last day. Um, all the, um, I spoke to the spokesman of the drills uh, this morning, and uh, he was very happy with the results of uh, uh, these drills up to now. And uh, he, uh, he said that uh, these drills have had, uh, they have a message of peace for the countries in the region, and that's what's important. He also told me that the media in the uh, in the West, most of the media in the West, they have been uh, working in a way to say that they have been acting in a way that, that Iran wants to, uh, in, with these drills, uh, is planning to close the Strait of Hormuz. And right. uh, he told me that basically that's it's, it's nothing like that. These. Uh, drills are actually for the safety of the uh, for, of the waterways of the Strait of Hormuz, and they uh, secure all the security needed for uh, this important uh, waterway. And right. uh, right. Iran does not have any plans of uh, doing anything like that, and that's all propaganda. The all other right, thing right. which we'll she to told me there. was Sorry. that we're uh, time here on the show with the, the with the way that they act with their media and they're saying that uh, Iran is trying to do this and do that and uh, is strengthening his Navy and it would be against the country. All right, I'm sorry, we'll have to leave it there. We're out of time here on the show. Press TV's Arash Khaled Bari, our correspondent, reporting on the field there.